This question is telling us to use the integral test to determine whether the given series is convergent or divergent. Now, the first thing to do when using the integral test is to let f of x equal basically the definition of the series in the question. So that's what we'll do first. We'll let f of x equal our series definition, which is 5 over the fifth root of x. Notice you're going to be using x rather than n. The next thing you have to confirm is whether your function is continuous, positive, and decreasing on the interval from 1 to infinity. Now, in a sense, we don't have to confirm that because the question's telling us to use the integral test, so we can assume that those conditions have been met. Of course, this function is continuous, positive, and decreasing. It's continuous, for example, because the only point of discontinuity would be at x equals 0. We would have 5 divided by 0 in that case but zero is not part of the given interval. Furthermore, it's positive because we are plugging in positive values of x from one to infinity, and then it certainly is decreasing because as x increases in the denominator, f of x would decrease. So just a couple of quick confirmations of the three conditions, but we can move on to the heart of the matter, and that would be to actually evaluate this integral right here. So this is an improper integral. You're going to evaluate it from one to infinity, of your function. Now we remember from a previous section that in order to proceed here, we have to replace the infinity with a variable. We typically use the variable t, and that works as long as we take the limit as t approaches infinity of our integral. Now to integrate this function, we're going to need to rewrite it. Let's begin with the fifth root of x. We all know that the fifth root of x to the 1 is equivalent to x to the 1 fifth. And then furthermore, 5 over x to the 1 fifth, if you were to essentially move the x to the 1 fifth to the numerator, you would have 5x raised to the negative 1 fifth. So let's rewrite the integrand in that manner. We take our limit from 1 to t, and we now have 5x raised to the negative 1 fifth. We can now evaluate the integral. This is a basic power rule, so we're going to take the exponent and add one to it. That becomes x raised to the four-fifths, and then I like to multiply by the reciprocal in the front. So the reciprocal of four-fifths is five-fourths. Don't forget that you had a coefficient of five in front already. And this will be evaluated from one to t. Why don't we go ahead and just multiply 5 times 5 fourths. So we just multiply the 5s. This gives us 25 fourths. So we can save ourselves a little step right there. And now we can plug in the upper bound. The upper bound is t. So we'll have 25 fourths. We're actually going to factor out the 25 fourths. So we'll have t raised to the 4 fifths. And then we plug the lower bound in and subtract. So we're going to have minus... 1 to the 4 fifths, but 1 to the 4 fifths is just 1. So far, so good. Now we can actually basically plug infinity in for t. So we would have 25 fourths multiplied by infinity to the 4 fifths minus 1. Now we kind of have to figure out what infinity to the 4 fifths is. And it turns out that that is still infinity. We could see this perhaps in a couple of different ways. We could plug on our calculator some very large numbers. You could take any large number and raise it to the four-fifths, and you would see that the result is still a very large number. So the larger the number gets, the larger the number raised to the four-fifths also gets. You could also graph x to the four-fifths if you'd like to. And if you graphed x to the four-fifths, you would see that the graph basically climbs this way. So you can see that as x gets bigger, the y value also gets bigger because it keeps rising and rising. So a couple of different ways to understand that, but basically you end up with 25 fourths times infinity minus one. Infinity minus one is still infinity, and 25 fourths times infinity is still infinity. So the answer to the integral is infinity. If we go back up and look at the answer boxes, that would mean that for this box right here, you would be putting in infinity. This little drop down here, it says since the integral is not finite would be one way of expressing this. I'm not sure if that's what that box says. It might also say is infinite. But 
Regardless, the next box will be either a convergent or a divergent dropdown. We have shown that because it equals infinity, that this series is divergent, and it's divergent according to the integral test.